Good evening. Good evening, students. Good evening. Good evening, teacher. Can you listen to me? Yes, teacher. Okay, very nice, good. Clear like water, right? Yes. Awesome, very nice, good. Okay, we're gonna start just in two minutes. Okay, we're gonna give chance for the rest of the class in order to get connected, okay? Okay, teacher, I have a question. Yeah, tell me. Um, about the platform, about the uniform, uh, the unit uh, has to be completed today or tomorrow was the last day? Is the last day, sorry. Tomorrow is the last day, but if you have finished for today, it's much better. Okay, thank you, teacher. Okay, uh, remember the final exam too. Yeah, yeah, it's, it's <laughs> um, before the uniform, right? Uh, be no after. Oh after yeah, after yeah, yeah. In uh -huh. my mind, it's correct, teacher, but it's it's because I'm confused uh, already with the after and before. So in my mind, I say the forever. <laughs> yeah, so you, you you change the order. Yeah, yeah. It's 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 just like right and left. It's just, I'm totally confused about that. Ah, uh, okay, okay, very nice, good. It, Thank you, it, teacher. It happens, okay, don't worry. Yeah. Okay, what about the rest? How were you today? Hi, teacher, I am driving. Okay, are you on your way? Go home. Okay, more or less one hour. Okay, very nice. Don't worry. Okay, awesome. Good evening, rest of the class. How are you today? Very good, teacher. Awesome, awesome. Ready for the, well, the, the two last classes we have today and tomorrow, right? Yes. Uh, yesterday, I was kind of sad because 
um i don't know it's just like um today will be the last day so um and now <laughs> they can continue like suspendiendo and so uh, i don't know yeah if um if yesterday hadn't rained that much it will be today the last class exactly and i was like oh my god and it's because yesterday uh on a work uh no te escucharon at one o'clock oh from your work yeah okay okay very nice oh uh, um what happened is that um well, yesterday was a terrible day for the whole Salvador. Well, whole Central America. Because it was raining too much, many disasters. Yeah, the rain, the weather was awful, teacher. In a lot of departments. Yeah. I know, I know. It was like complicated because um. Well, I think there are many people who lost everything, uh, their own. It's not easy for them because it was um, a nature disaster. So <laughs> you cannot handle on it, right? It's something that. Uh, uh, I think that the most difficult part is to start over again. Yeah. Imagine if you have bought something and you got a loan in order to, to do it. So it's not easy for you. Exactly. Yeah. What about the rest? Roberto, how are you? Mariano, how are you? Hello, teacher. How are you? Hello, teacher. I'm fine. Very nice. Good. Awesome. Happy to listen to that. What about you, Mariano? How are you? Everything okay, teacher? Okay. There's one. There was no problem in your in your um in your city, Mariano and Roberto. No, teacher. Things good now. Okay, good. What about you, Roberto? Okay. No, teacher. Only uh, with without energy in our our house. Ah, yesterday you didn't have energy. Yes. Oh, okay. Yes, but thanks God, it was not like that much, right? Yes. Okay. Very good. Awesome. What about you, Yvette? Good evening. Good evening, teacher. How are you today? Fine, because I did home office today. Ah, you leave early. Yeah. Okay. Very nice. What about the rest? Teacher, in my case, was a good day. Totally different as the as the last week. I, it's like a new beginning. Okay, very nice. Hi, teacher. Hi, Rosibel. How are you? I'm oh, fine, thank you. In my case, uh, uh, we didn't have uh, any problems with the, the weather. Oh, thanks God, right? Yeah. Very nice. What about the rest? What about you, uh, Debbie? How are you? Good evening, teacher. Good evening. How are, you, how are you today? Oh, my day was good, teacher. Okay. Didn't you have any problem yesterday? Um, no, not really, no. Ah, oh, that's good. Awesome. Very nice. No. I didn't work yesterday, but... <laughs> ah, okay. You, you had a free day? Yes. Okay, thanks, God. Yes, because... Yesterday was raining too much there. I think in your place was the same, right? Yes. Okay, very nice, good. Vanessa, good evening, how are you?
Okay, Aminda, good evening. Welcome. Hello, teacher. How are you? Fine, fine. And you? Very nice. Okay, perfect. Yes, very good. I'm happy to listen to you. You are good. There was no problem yesterday in your place? No, no. Thanks God, right? Okay. Okay, very nice. Good. I'm happy to listen to all of you are okay and you didn't have any problem yesterday because okay in the news was terrible listen to different places they were closed um there were so many people having problems with the um places where they live right because they have to move away and they have to stay in a different uh place right so it's like like not difficult in order to go them to look for a refuge or shelter because um it's not easy okay we're going to start with uh with the class because um we have to do so many activities today so as soon as you listen your name please tell me present okay adela trinidad gonzalez consuera Aminda René Figueroa de Manzano. Present. Okay. Belén Batre García. Present, teacher. Very nice. Carlos William Membreño Núñez. Debbie Yasmín Girón Ramírez. Present. Okay, very nice. Domingo Alexander González. Ever de Jesús Candray Montano. José Roberto Martínez Bernabé. Present teacher. Ok. Leticia Guadalupe González de Miranda. Guadalupe, Guadalupe García de Miranda, perdón. Mariano José Paca Santa María. Present teacher. Ok, very nice. Oscar Arnulfo Villatoro Herrera. Rosemary Ventura de Arguello. Rosibel del Carmen López. Present teacher. Ok, very nice. Salvador Augusto Sorto Rivas. Present, mister. Ok, very nice. Sonny Ivette Alvarenga. Present. Good. Vanessa Noemí Reyes Lemus. Walter Omar Castaneda Perlera. Present. Ok, very nice. Wendy Karina Morales Amaya. Okay, very good, very good. Okay. Very nice. Present teacher. Ah, Adela, you are here. Okay, very nice. With a lot of energy, Adela, because the last class is right. Okay, very nice, good. Okay, awesome. We're going to start with the class. Um, I know you got a long weekend because you had the Monday free because it's not normal to have Monday free, right? But so you had it yesterday. So it was because a strong reason because there was a natural disaster in Central America, right? And here in El Salvador was not out of the situation. Okay, but what do you remember about the last class? Can you tell me as a uh, as a brief. Mm -hmm. What do you the remember? Last, uh -huh. The last class, uh, I saw the comparative and superlative. Uh, or no? Yes. Mm -hmm. Comparative and superlative, yes. Very nice, good. Yes. What okay. about the rest? What do you remember? Students, are you there? How about the different? The difference?
Okay. Sure. Yes, yes. In short, in short adjectives, we add uh, uh, some um, uh, for example, in short, uh, shorter, superlative, shortest. Uh, add the, the some, 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 I, I, I don't know, letters. Letters uh, in comparative uh, ER. Mm -hmm. Y en oh. superlative ER. ESD. Uh, oh. Okay, very nice. Good. Uh, short adjectives, we add ER, right? Mm -hmm. Okay. ER. Uh -huh. Yes, and for, um, in this case, it's the comparative. And the superlative, we add Yes, yes, it is very nice. Good, okay. And uh, remember that when we use uh, more than two syllable adjectives, we are, for example, more than right. And when they, we have that superlative, uh, we use the must, right? And then the adjective in the base form, okay. Perfect, very nice. So that's why today we're going to uh, have an activity. We're going to talk about um, two different uh, ways of talking about some activities using comparatives and superlatives, okay? So we're going to push you, I'm going to push you to work in pairs. So uh, we're going to have an activity in which we're going to prepare um, a, like, like like a conversation with a with a partner, right? You're going to prepare a conversation and you're going to use comparatives and superlatives in order to talk about a topic that I'm gonna give you, okay? Because I'm gonna give you a topic right now. But I'm gonna, I'm gonna create the groups because it's a pair word. But I want to make sure, okay, if all of you are going to participate. Yvette, Mariano already, right? Yes, the chair. Okay. Walter, ready? Yes. Okay. Yvette, are you ready? Yes, I do. Okay, very nice. Adela, ready, right? Leticia? Roberto and Rosibel are ready, right? Sorry, teacher, I'm, I'm yes. driving. Okay, okay, very nice. Okay, very nice. Good, good, good. Okay. Um, Belen and, and Debbie? Yes, teacher. Okay. Yes, teacher. Okay, very nice. Good, good, good. Very nice. Give me a second here. Okay. Okay, I think we have everybody ready. Okay, yes. Okay. So what what is the most what is the topic that we're going to talk about? Okay, so we're going to talk about um, food. We're going to talk about food. Okay, so you're going to compare the the dishes that you think are like um, very nice in flavor, but then of course you're going to talk about which one is uh, the best uh, dish that you have here in Obsaba for you, right? For you and your and your partner, you're going to debate about which uh, food, which kind of food do you think is the best and which kind of food do you think is the worst, okay? So you're going to talk about this and you're going to compare some um, uh, dishes that you think are good as another one. 
So you're going to create a really interesting conversation about it, okay? Is it clear? Only speak, teacher. Only speak. Oh, yes, it's a speak. It's a speaking practice, but you have to create a, a, a dialogue, okay? Because in okay, order yeah. to remember, because you're going to present it here in the class. Oh, okay. Okay, very nice. Try to use everything that we have learned during the course, okay? Okay, there we go. Even the conditional teacher. <laughs> yeah, the first and the second conditional. Um, the zero okay. and the first, sorry, because today we're going to start with the second. Okay. Okay, awesome. Rose, are you ready to participate? Yes, teacher. Okay. And let me push you in a, in, a, in a team because I thought you were not connected, but now I, I watch you. Okay, yes, me... I'm sorry. I have problems with the connection because I am in another device and I don't have the easy way to enter to the class. Oh, okay. Don't worry. Don't worry. So right now I'm going to push you with Yvette and Mariano, okay? Okay, teacher. Perfect. Thank you. Okay, welcome. Hello. Hello. Welcome, Rosemary. Thank you. Hello. I have some problems with the connection and I have some issues last week and I can't participate to the classes. Do you want coffee? Yeah, please. We miss you, Rosemary. Oh, I'm sorry. Mm -hmm. I actually, I don't know. We are trying to. Do the assignment. The assignment is uh, make a conversation using all the things about the course. And the topic is food, if I know well. The worst and the best food in El Salvador. Pupusas forever. We don't have <laughs> any to discuss. I agree. Pupusas. And pan con pollo. Yes, pan con pollo. La yuca, niño, la yuca. The worst. With the best, please. The worst Salvadorian food. Tamales. But what kind of tamales? Because a lot of tamales has the best. Chicken tamales. Depend of the the way that no. are made. Yes, you, for me, everything uh, always chicken tamales. As the word, all, all, all of them. Do you like the uh, sweet tamales? No. no, no, that is the worst. Sweet tamales as the worst. Uh, the the chocolate. <laughs> chocolate tamales. I miss the, the tamales that my grandma cook. Cook it. Do you, Do you love these tamales? I like sweet tamales. <clears throat> Okay. The, the, the sweet... They're made in my in my um hometown. Hometown. Yes. Only that. I think we have the perfect discussions. One team is not a mother's team, <laughs> <laughs> and the other one is sweet tamale. That's the worst. <laughs> but both are agree about pupusas as the best. Salvadorian food that yes, ever yes. makes. Yes, it's pupusas. You like DiCaprio say? 
pupusas are better than tacos. That's the best example of of Salvadorian food quality. What are the most uh, where flavor of pupusa that do we taste or eat? The most representative flavor is a uh, Loroco, I think. No, la más rara. Oh, can come the... in. Ah, okay, rare. Let's More rare. It's a... Uh, I don't know. Maybe the crazy pupusa who has everything. Today is very common, the garlic pupusa, the spicy pupusa, shrimps pupusas. Shrimps is very delicious. Yes. No, I, I hate it. Rare, I don't I don't remember a a rare pupusa's flavor. I taste a pupusa with plateadas. Ah uh, yes. But th this is very fish, common in a, the a fish pupusa. It, this is very common in the lake areas. Really? I didn't yes. hear about Yes, it's very common in the around the lake. I don't like it. No, I don't use it even in the yuca frita, the pesca. I hate it. It's delicious. <laughs> it's delicious. No, but I prefer <laughs> yuca salcochada. With with pepesca or with chicharrón. Pepesca. With pepesca. For me, it's just curtido and sauce. Not. No know, topping. Also. No additional topping. Without <laughs> no. meat. <laughs> Animal fresh. <laughs> Con merienda. No, no, no. no. <laughs> Fuera chicharrón, sí. I, pre I prefer a chicharrón. But pepesca is very delicious. Yeah. yeah. Oh. Uh, some, I don't know, who has um, fame from your, co your computer to write the, the conversation or all in our forms? In my phone. I I am in a computer. Can you? Ah, yo creí que no, no la íbamos a notar. Es que él dijo que lo íbamos a presentar después. Teacher. Hello. We need to Where? take a note for from our conversation, right? Hey. Because yes, we need to you have to. Because you, sure. have to, you have to present it. Sure. Hello, hola. Where, where, where is your favorite flavor of pupusas? My favorite flavor? Yes. Uh, the mixed one. <laughs> the mixed one. Mix. The, uh, the la revuelta. <laughs> yes, the revueltas. Okay. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I I'm going to present. Okay. We'll start. Okay. Um. Do you have the? The most we can do is to use the Papa John's and the sauce that was the posterior taste. Okay, words for taste.
we have difference difference uh, favorite school favorite pizza I prefer the mass go And it is uh, what to say, picante, spicy. Mm -hmm. okay. Taste. Uh, what I, I am, I made you a question. What about the hamburger? Do you prefer a Wendy's or too much and I will get fat. <laughs> okay. Okay. And this the second is... conditional? Uh huh. What, what is? The second conditional we use, I know, I know, remember, only the first conditional. But the second conditional, I no remember. We have we haven't seen uh, the the second conditional yet. No, 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 Yes. And the zero. Zero, uh -huh. zero conditional is in the present time. Yeah? Yes. Yes, yes. Uh -huh. Good. Ah, okay, 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 okay. Okay, I got it. <laughs> <laughs> <Thank you>. Sorry. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> don't worry, don't worry. It's normal. <laughs> okay. Okay, Carlos. But, but the conversation is of three people in, in, in our case. The, the activity. Yeah, in this, in this case, you're going to do it in, in the three. The three was mm -hmm. the, uh-huh. Okay. Mm. Okay. Okay, very nice. Okay. Okay, gentlemen, gentlemen, star, please. <laughs> okay. Ok, ok, y te voy a escribir así como, te voy a, te voy a decir a ver si lo, so, so you can understand. That's good. And do you think about me when you order? Because I'm hungry. Que si te incluí, ¿verdad? Mm -hmm. O si pensaste en mí cuando ordenaste. <laughs> eh, yes. Yes, I think you like a margarita pizza 
because it's the best. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> so selfish. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, uh, yes, I do. Esa sería tu respuesta. Yes, I do because, because what? Because I think you like, like it, sería, ¿verdad? You like it. Sí, ajá. Okay, lo vamos a poner así como, Yes, I do, because I think you like it, right? Como preguntándome. Ajá. Uh -huh. yes, yes. Y ahí te voy a poner... Um... Oh, y, y quizás ahí te digo, because for me it's the best. Ajá, ok. <laughs> it's the best. ¿Sabes qué? Pero me voy a separar por... De aquí en adelante voy a separar por el inicio de nuestra... Nombres, lo, lo que es de cada quien. Okay. <laughs> okay. Uh, hello, David. How are you today? What do you order for it? Uh, hi, Belen. Good day. Today I ordered margarita pizza. That's good. And do you think about me when you order? Because I'm hungry. Yes, I do. Because I think you like it, right? Because for me, it's the best. Okay. Um. Yes. It's good, but that is good. Uh, okay. Yes, it's good, but not as good as meat pizza. <laughs> Okay, sorry. No worries. Uh, yes, I do because I did like run because for it's best. Okay. Yes, it's good, but not as good as meat pizza. Yet it's good, but not as good as meat, meat, meat. The like carne. Yes. Okay. Hake. Huh? Hake. No. Yeah. Like to share. Uh -huh. eh, quiero ver. Oh, yes. You're right. But I think. It is. Like you. Uh, you think is a, a good idea, like someone that, como no dudo que. Will be? No, will, will, are. No. Cuando, cuando usamos no, el be? I thought, I, I, mm, I thought. Will be, no, will. Will a uh, good idea. Like. Okay. Eh, ¿Qué puedo recomendar? Regresar a la hojita para poner el condicionante como negativo. Como este. Um... To the best of my knowledge. Y ahí le no es. Not to my knowledge. Not to my knowledge. Uh, not to my knowledge. Eh, no sé qué plato pusimos. Yuca fue. Yuca. Esto es como que no está muy seguro. Ajá, como no, mm, ajá, yo no creo que sea eso, así como eh. yeah, the best of my knowledge es como más certero. Ajá, pero no, not to my knowledge es como, no para tu conocimiento, el, las, 
bajo mi conocimiento, no Teacher, es eso. no sé si, no sé si se puede hacer eso, pues aprovechando que está aquí, no se puede decir eso así como, not to my knowledge, this dish wasn't the best of Salvadorian food, something like that. Yeah, you can use it. Okay. In this case, Yvette, you respond to Mariano, not to my knowledge, coma. O sea, pero antes ponerle wait. Wait a second. Wait a second. Come. No to my knowledge. Es que son estas rayas. Es que te quedó rayado el anterior. Ajá. Mía, será que la compu está mal. Se te rayó la compu. No te... What is this? Mm, ok. Oh, rayos. Sí, es... Yo le estoy rayando. No sé cómo quitarlo. Qué susto. Eh... <risa> Uy, no. Si le si hago eso, se deshace el texto. Bueno. Pero estoy escribiendo. No nos importa la raya. Bueno, no, es not to my knowledge. Yuca frita. Is isn't a, the most pop, this isn't a, um most popular Sí, espera un momento, no, no estoy segura que la yuca fresca sea la más popular en nuestro país. For me, Ay, in Florida, the Salvadorian, the best Salvadorian dishes is, dish is pupusas. You can visit it now, look at that now. Um, you can visit the Pupusa Bueno. Oh, the Quilta for sure. No, I say for the Cano Me Gusta. Ah, oh, no sé, la Suiza, que sé yo. No la sé. Suiza. No me yeah. recomienden. Ajá. Hoy es martes de Pupusa Suiza. <risa> sí, envío gratis en Hugo. <risa> el, el, el comercial. Va, acá. Uh, de acuerdo contigo. Yo prefiero siempre Burger King. Pero el sabor. Porque el sabor no es malo y ellos tienen los precios más baratos. Oh, fast food. Fast food. Burger. Fast food. What do you say? Do you agree with my idea or you thinking that the price isn't important, only important the taste? Okay. Only this. 
Only this. I think. Okay. Okay, we we can finish we, here. We are we ready. <laughs> At final of the mess. Ah, la maruchan soup, veish con limón. With the lemon, with cheese. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. In this case, clam soup is healthy food. Uh, the the clam chowder. Yes. Yes. Yes, it's healthy soup. It's fat free. Mm, I I think more or less because uh, it's a a cream a cream of 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 clown ah oh, clown mm -hmm. it's not okay. crema it's with cream mm -hmm. okay when I don't have time for cooking mm -hmm. I I buy tuna <laughs> a lot of tuna <laughs> yeah delicious. It's very easy, and you can eat tuna with bread or tortillas. <laughs> oh, oh, or make a, a, a salad, a tuna salad. Oh, uh, yes. Do you finish already? Not yet, teacher. Okay, very nice. Teacher, in the case of worst, that can be a superlative. Worst? Worst? Yes, worst is a superlative. No, but in but this just case, in... worst. We don't have to agree the EST, right? Oh, worst. No, worst is a comparative. Yeah, it's not a superlative, right? No, not a superlative. Worse. And it can be a superlative too, right? Comparative. Worst. Oh. Superlative. Can you Como... check the can you check the, the the chat? The what? The chat here in the platform. Oh, yeah, sorry. Sorry, sorry. Let me see. Worst, ah, worst and worst. Yeah, yes. I understand. Okay, worst, nice. the second one is, is comparative, right? No, the first one is comparative and the, the second one is superlative. So in the you can see the chat, teacher, all the chat. Um, no, no. that's good. And you think uh, 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 when you... Okay, uh, uh, just let me uh, read you this. Um, one of my answers is, okay, in my case, I love pizza so much that it doesn't matter if it's the worst day, but worst like the second one, worst. Okay, uh, yes, worst, es el peor día. Okay, exactly, worst day yeah. of my life, of even, or even, sorry, the happiest as, the happiest, just happiest. Okay, yes. That's good. Yes, the happiest. Yes, that's good. Okay. And when I use worse, I have to agree then, right? Yeah. Worse than, okay. worse than. Okay, okay. I understand. Uh, oh. Just a remind teacher, what exactly was the superlatives? Because I already know how to use it, but what exactly is, for example, in Spanish? El, es para hablar del más que. ¿Verdad? El ah, mejor de todos, o sea, el mejor de todos, o sea, que en el comparativo oh, nosotros decimos okay. que es igual o que es peor que tal, ¿verdad? Uh -huh. pero, pero cuando hablamos de superlativo, estamos hablando, we talk about that there's nobody like him or like her, or like that thing, it's, that thing is the top. Uh -huh. Yeah, the, the only top one. of words or the top of the best. <laughs> yeah, totally the best. Okay, I understand. Awesome. Thank you. Welcome.
Yes, Trini. Well, if we don't have an idea, we, we wait to come back to the group. Es que siento que le hace falta algo ahí. Al inicio. Hello, Walter. ¿Cómo está? Está me diga. Aquí buscando algo que comer. Y luego iniciamos ya con. We, we are a, a lot. Uh, what to say? Hello, Walter. A old friend. You? We are a old friend. And we have confidence to charge to, 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 to care, no? Together. So, no, no is the first time we meet and have a conversation. We start and with the poem. Depends on the context. Siento que se lo va a decir en español, pero no sé cómo decirlo en inglés. Siento que iniciamos así como muy eh, directo. Entonces sí sería, sería tal vez así. Hola, Walter. ¿Cómo ha estado? Y luego usted me diga, bien, aquí buscando algo que comer. Y luego yo ya le diga, usted se me un loro con pizza, by pizza ya. Yeah. Yes, we can say that. Okay. And then we can read this, this question. Mm -hmm. Is it for okay. standard the conversation okay. is good? Okay. Let's do it. Okay, I start to share a you copy or yeah or I share I will share long long anime. The first season has five hundred episodes and the next season has eighty hundred episodes. But it's a short, it's a short uh, uh, each episode. Yes. 20 minutes? Uh, yes, 20 or 50 minutes. Uh, and, yeah, and during the weekend, no, 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 so the... No, so, no. no. I, I start watch this anime because my son loves mm. and he's a fan. <laughs> Naruto fan. Naruto, I never, Na I never Na hear. Naruto, Naruto. And <laughs> sorry, Naruto. <laughs> sorry. No worry, no problem. And she, and bueno, and, and he told me every day, "Daddy, come on, watch one episode." But the but problem no. is I, I only can watch in the night or one episode in my lunch. And he can watch 10 episodes every day. 
and he, and he finished the anime a uh, months ago, six ten months ago, and I'm going to watch the middle to the seasons tomorrow, <laughs> and I will finish in one year approximately. And how many hours watch TV your son? One hour, 30 minutes. <laughs> per day? Per day, yes. Ah, uh, per day, okay. At night, at night. Uh, all day, only one oh, hour, day. 30 minutes. Ah, uh, okay. <laughs> Yes. I have an emergency. Okay. Y tengo que voy a ir al seguro con con mi hijo tiene fiebre muy alta. De no sé si dejo la sesión así por por el tema del tiempo, verdad. La actividad ya ya la terminé con mis compañeros ahí tal vez alguien más que lea. La parte que me corresponde del diálogo. Ah, ok, ok, very nice. Uh, ¿Con quién está? Con la factura, Rosemary. Sí, si quiere. Ese, preséntalo ahorita, le voy a dar. Le, ay, es que no lo puedo presentar yo. Ah, ok, mm -hmm. yo puedo. Pero ve, no póngalo y le voy a tomar ¿Podemos captura. Podemos hacer los primeros, teacher, sí. Sí, podemos oh, hacer ya los Ajá, primeros. también, ok, pueden ser los primeros. Ok, okay. Mariano. Yes. Okay, we we'll start. Hello, Mariana. Do you know where I can taste the best Salvadorian food? Hello, of course. I recommend you to taste yuca frita in Planes de Renderos in Able Door. It's very delicious and the view is awesome. I doubt the trip will be a good idea. Wait a second, not to, to my knowledge, yuca frita isn't the most popular food in our country. For me, the best Salvadorian dish is the pupusas, and you can visit Oloquilta for sure. Thank you for the recommendation. All the dishes sound a great idea to taste. I'm going to taste all them. Don't forget, taste the riwas and corn tamales. And if you drink some at all, Please don't mix with water. Okay, perfect. I take the advice. Okay, very nice, good. Awesome. Thank you. Okay, very nice, good. So uh, they started to do that because Yvette has to leave because she has an emergency with the, with the baby because it's with fever, right? So it's, that's why they decided to be first. Okay, awesome. Uh, let me listen to the not to the rest. Okay, Adela and Walter. Okay. Uh, let me share. Uh, Give me a moment. Hello, Walter. You test the new local Rocco's Pizza by Pizza Hut. Yes, Trini. The pizza was amazing flavor of the Rocco with cheese. Really? I don't like it. I think the pizza with Loroco Pizza Hut is worse than pizza with Loroco by Papa John's. The mass of Pizza Hut is louder than Papa John's. And the sauce tomato was the worst ever tasted. We had different favorite pizzas. 
I prefer the mass loader and with a spicy taste. What about the burger? Do you prefer Wendy's or Burger King? My favorite burger is from Wendy's because the bread is the softest. For the more the chickens, Wendy is crustier than chickens Burger King. I agree with you, but I prefer always Burger King because the taste is not bad and they had the cheapest price of the fast food burger. Okay, Walter, bye. Bye, see you. Okay, very nice, good, awesome. Okay, so there were some uh, situations in which you, you need to take a look of the grammar, okay? For example, the cheapest. Um, and for the first question, you need to use a did. Did you taste the new pizza? I think it was the, the yeah. Did you taste the new Lodocos pizza? Yes, did you? Okay, o, o puede ser también, have you taste? Uh, the first question, or what? Uh, I think it's did because uh, the answer is yes, you need a pizza was amazing. So you need to use, did you taste? Did you taste, yes. Ah, yes, yeah. you, you. You have sent us in past, yes. Yeah, you have be, because you say yes, Trini, the pizza was amazing. So you were talking about the past, right? The past, yes. Yeah, and of course, then let me see another one. Uh, uh, the word spicy, it's with, in, in vez de la, instead of A, is I. I. Uh... Where, 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 where? Uh, the, the mass loader and with the spy, if they le puso spy, is his taste. Spicy. Ah, yeah. Yes, yeah, escribe spicy, but pero se pronuncia spicy. Es no, 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 no. Uh, instead of a uh, year. Yes, a uh, year. Uh, no, 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 no. You erase, erase the A. Erase A. And put I. Spicy. Ah, yes. Okay. Yes. Uh, okay, thank you. Okay, and another one, the cheapest. The yes, cheapest. Remember the word cheap about that you mean something is not expensive. Okay, is um C H E A P. Sorry, did you come your repeat? Okay. C H E A P. C I don't remember. H E. Una laguna mental ahorita. Okay, don't worry. C H E. Erase everything here. Okay. Yeah. Erase everything there, there, go, 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 go. Yeah, yeah, C-H, C-H. C-H, E, A, P. Okay, that's the adjective. That means that it's not expensive. Now put the, the next part that is talking about, um, that is the superlative. Cheapest. Okay, very nice. What about the rest? Okay, okay. thank yeah. you. Yeah, very nice, good. Okay, let me listen to uh, the next team. Aminda Carlos and Rosivel. Very nice, it's your turn. Yes, teacher, but uh, I didn't a presentation because only practice the conversations. 
Ah, you you just stopped. You didn't write anything. Uh, because, <laughs> because we don't understand the, the instructions. Sorry ah, for that. Okay, okay, very nice. Okay, okay, good. <laughs> yeah, but okay, but you can practice the conversation again. <laughs> yeah, yeah, you can practice. Okay. If okay. you want Rosibel and Carlos. <laughs> yes. Hello again. Carlos, can you start? Oh, again. I start again. Mm -hmm. Okay. How, how was your day, girls? Okay. Was uh, a fun because I work at the home. The same that, that yesterday is not is not the strong. Okay, mm -hmm. and for me, my day was a busy day because I have a. Uh, to accumulate uh, many activities for completer to date. Okay, very good. In, my case, my, in my case, my day is, is not usual because today my son don't have a class and I can wake up, wake up later. And then the next part of the day, I went to the work and this is a normal part for my day. Carlos, what kind of food do you do you enjoy? I'm sorry, I can't hear you. What kind of food uh, do you uh, really enjoy? I really enjoy pizza and seafood. This is my favorite food. My first favorite food is seafood, and my second favorite food is pizza. Uh, me too, as Carlos, I like the seafood. And after the um, Italian food, pizza. <laughs> Not only pizza, but include the lasagna and pasta. Okay, and you really love soup. Ah, right? the clown, the, the clown chowder. Uh -huh. It's very delicious. Okay, and after that, okay. only we talk about the food and the, so many activities. And that's that's all the, the the conversation. Okay, very nice, good, awesome. Okay, okay right now Belen and Debbie. Yay! Okay, just one moment, please. Um, hello, Debbie. How are you today? What do you order for read? Hello, Belen. I'm good. Yes, I did. I ordered margarita pizza. That's good. And do you think about me when you order? Because I'm hungry. Yes, I do. Because I think you like, right? Because for me, it's the best. Yes, it's good. But not as good as meat pizza. That is the best. Yes, you're right. But I think it depends on the mood that you have. Well, in my case, I love pizza so much that it doesn't matter if it's the worst day of my life or even the happiest, I always want to eat pizza. Which pizzeria do you think is the best, Pizza Hut or Little Caesar? Well, my favorite pizzeria is obviously Pizza Hut because, um, because of the taste. But if I have to choose uh, something cheaper or, I don't know, bigger, definitely I choose uh, Little Caesar. I love four cheese pizza at Pizza Hut. 
That's good. That's all, teacher. Okay, very nice, good. Awesome. Okay, um, we're going to start right now with another topic, which is really important for us. Can you tell me if you watch the screen? Yes, teacher. Yes, teacher. Okay, 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 okay. Okay, do you remember the last time we talked about the zero conditional and the first conditional, right? Yeah, so, like okay. a nightmare. Yes, we talked about uh, that we use zero conditional for present uh, talks and we use first condition about future possibilities, right? Awesome, so right now we're going to start up talking about a second conditional, but okay, give me a second, give me a second. Okay, thank you, thank you. Okay, so the, we were talking about um, zero and first, but now we're gonna start with second conditional. There with second conditional we talk and we use some different uh, positions about, not the position, it's not the usage of the verb, it's in past, right? But before we start with the real second conditional, we're gonna talk about, about the wish conditional. I don't know if you found her a moment how to use which. So we have a real conditional. Let me listen to um, Aminda. Can you please read this part? Okay. And they are used to talk about imaginary, unlikely, or impossible situations in the present and past. Okay, very nice, good. The unreal conditionals, they are used to talk about imaginary, unlikely or impossible situations in the present and past. So we're going to talk about something that is not real, right? Something imaginary, unlikely or impossible. So we need to focus that we when we use unreal, that's why the name it says unreal, is something that didn't happen, and one happened. Okay, very nice. Let's check. Um, let me listen to Belen. Can you please read it? Okay. Second conditional. If I own a car, I will try to work. Oh, okay, Imagine very nice. Things. Okay. Okay, okay, thank you. If I own a car, I will drive to work. Good. If I talk about simple past, here we have an structure, simple past and a present of the verb by will. And that's that ten, the tense that uh, Belen was using. Do you remember Belen when we use, you used uh, will and you asked me, is correct to use will? And I told you, yes, yeah. it's, it's you correct, but Belen, not I'm with about zero. The second condition. <laughs> yeah, yeah. So, aquí tenemos una oración con el pasado simple, pero no significa, no significa si yo tuve un carro. Mm -mm. Significa si yo tuviera. ¿Ok? Utilizamos un pasado simple acá en la oración, pero no lo vamos a traducir literalmente, ¿verdad? ¿Cómo es eh, entonces la traducción? Lo vamos a traducir algo que yo de, pienso que podría ser, en este caso, si yo eh, tuviera un carro. Entonces, and esta that is because of the use if. Yes, el uso del if le cambia, ¿verdad? Entonces ya no sería, si tuve un carro, no. 
si tuviera, right? If I own a car. Y luego acá dice, I would drive to work. Yo manejaría hacia el trabajo. O sea que, acá nos dice la oración, y my imagining things are different in the present. So, quiere decir que como no tengo un carro, entonces no manejo para el trabajo, tengo que irme caminando o me tengo que ir en el bus, ¿verdad? It's imaginary situation. Y acá estamos utilizando el zero condition. Y es acá donde yo les dije, tenemos que aprendernos los verbos, el uso de los verbos, ¿verdad? En este caso, si ustedes acá se fijan, estamos hablando del simple past. Y acá va el verbo en su forma base, pero lleva el would. Ok, veamos el third conditional. Vamos a ver si me ayuda a leer el third conditional, Debbie. A third conditional. Is I, if I have studied, study harder I will have passed last week test ok aquí tenemos el third conditional que es el último verdad que son los que vamos a ver hoy y acá nos dice if I had studied harder ok I will have passed last week's test acá tenemos el pasado perfecto si yo le quito verdad el if, diría yo, había estudiado bastante. Ok, pero acá ya no, ya no es la traducción literal, sino que con el if dice, si yo hubiera estudiado, hubiera, miren, si yo hubiera estudiado bastante lo, o lo más que pudiera, ¿verdad? Yo habría pasado los exámenes de la última semana. Miren, y acá llevamos el would, pero ya no llevamos el, el, el verbo en su forma base como acá, sino que llevamos el present perfect. En, la, en esta primera, en la conditional, utilizamos el past perfect. Y en el result, utilizamos el present perfect. ¿verdad? Donde llevamos el have como auxiliar y acá en el past perfect, el had. Y aquí dice, si yo hubiera estudiado lo suficiente o bastante, ¿verdad? Yo habría o hubiera pasado los exámenes de la última semana. ¿Pero qué significan estas dos oraciones? Que ninguna fueron reales. O sea, que no, no tengo un carro, por eso no manejo ese trabajo. Y que no estudié lo suficiente, por eso no pasé el examen. ¿Ok? Diferente uso. Y es por eso que les decía, aprendámonos los verbos en sus tres formas, porque los vamos a utilizar. Y es acá donde los vamos a, a aplicar, ¿verdad? Esta es la forma de cómo, cómo poder utilizar. Antes de que pasemos ya de manera detallada cada uno de ellos, no sé si hay alguna question. Yes, teacher. Yes. In the case of the third conditional, and you said that the first sentence is with past, uh, past perfect, mm -hmm. right? And in the second one, you said it's present perfect, but yes. past, I will have past, ¿Es en past o es en the base form? No, no. Will is, is like an auxiliary that we have. No, no, no. The result. Past. Yes. That Cuando, is the base form o es past? No, past is in the past. Cuando utilizamos el present perfect, do you, uh -huh. have, you, have you seen the present perfect tense? ¿Han visto el, el presente perfecto antes? Yes, but I didn't remember. Okay, what about the rest of the class? Have you seen the present perfect? I'm not sure, teacher. Mm -hmm. The rest? Well, in my case, teacher, uh, because I only um, have the intermediate levels, I don't remember to, to saw this. Maybe I in the basic, one. I don't know. Okay, what about, what about the rest? I'm not remember sure, but it's, it's only when we use the auxiliary hub with the infinity pair. Okay, so right now I'm gonna do one thing. Let me let me let me do one thing. Okay. We have rest and perfect tense. 
When we talk about present perfect tense, we use an auxiliary. Have and has. Those are the auxiliaries that we have. Son los auxiliares que tenemos, ¿verdad? Have and has. El have para, para I, you, we, and they. Y el has para las terceras personas. She, he, and it. Ok. Lo mismo que todo lo que hemos venido viendo. Pero, ¿cuál es el caso peculiar que llevamos acá? Que el verbo acá se utiliza en pasado participio. ¿Se recuerdan cuando les mostré un cuadro de verbos en pasado participio? En pasado simple y en forma base. Como been, gone. Yes. Entonces, si yo en presente digo, por ejemplo, I study for the test. Ese es un verbo en presente. ¿Verdad? Si yo utilizo pasado simple, digo, I studied for the test. Aquí forgot the test. Ok, ahora, si yo lo quiero utilizar con pasado, con el presente perfecto, ¿Verdad? Aunque el verbo yo lo llevo, ¿Verdad? En pasado participio la oración está en presente. Yo digo, por ejemplo, I have studied, y en este caso, como el verbo studied, es un verbo irregular, perdón, no sufre mayor modificación en, en, el, en, los, en los pasados que llevan, el simple como en el pasado participio. Y dice, I have studied for the test for more than a week. Ok, y aquí dice, yo he estudiado para el examen por más de una semana. Semana. Entonces cambia. Aquí es, es presente, ¿bien? Al igual que la de arriba, yo estudio para el examen, dice la primera, ¿verdad? Esta que está acá. La segunda dice, yo estudié para el examen. Pero la última dice, yo he estudiado por el, para el examen por más de una semana. Aquí el have es auxiliary, no es verbo. No dice tengo que estudiar, sino he, yo he estudiado. El verbo acá va a ir siempre en pasado participio. ¿verdad? Siempre va a ir en pasado participio. Pas, participio. ¿Ok? Y, y cuando utilice los verbos irregulares, por ejemplo, uh, I have spoken to the boss, with, with my boss, por ejemplo. ¿Ok? I have spoken with my boss. Yo he hablado con mi jefe, ¿verdad? Es referente a algo que, que tengo que hacer o que algo que le quiero solicitar. ¿Ok? Y luego acá solo depende, si yo quiero utilizar tercera persona, solo elimino el have, pongo el has, y luego los sujetos, she, she, or ya sea el it, ¿verdad? Este es en cuanto al, al present perfect. No sé si hasta aquí hay una, una duda en el present perfect. Así de manera general. No. ¿Está, cl está clarito? Yeah, well, in this case, it's your, uh, about the last verb, pass, is because it's a regular verb. So maybe that's what I don't understand. Yeah, you need to learn about pass of the verbs. Tienen que aprender yeah. los verbos en pasado, tanto los regulares como los irregulares. That, that's what happened. Eso sí es verdad. Tenemos que aprendernos tanto los regulares como los irregulares, porque los vamos a utilizar. Y estos tiempos se utilizan bastante, frecuentemente. Ok, what about the rest of the, la, el resto de la clase? No me han dicho nada, está clarito, no se entiende. ¿Están, están ahí o no están ahí? 
teacher and it's the same, um, uh, ¿cómo se llama? Es lo, como, algo, yo a veces he escuchado que dicen como, I have been studying. That is totally different. Oh, that's, that's present perfect uh, progressive. Oh my God, no, it's a nightmare. Thanks. Yes, that's a present perfect progressive. Yes. In present perfect, it is used how and has the the, the the subject. Yes. Uh, but the I my confuse is in the in the verb is past participle. Is past. Yes. You have to use the verb in past participle. It's not past. It's not only past. It's past participle. It's past participle. Yes. It's not okay. past. Okay, let, let me, give me a second. I'm gonna stop sharing. I'm gonna I'm look for the shot of the, give me a second here. Let me, look, let me look for, okay, check here. I'm gonna look for the verbs, list, list of verbs. I don't remember if I already sent you to the, no, no se los envié. I think you know, teacher. <laughs> no, you told us that you're going to shirt, but you, you didn't. Okay, oh my god, here. Oh, what happened? Se recuerdan de esto, ¿verdad? Que vimos esto. Yes, teacher. Mm -hmm. Bye. No, lo envié. Nope. No, teacher. Bye, ok. Ay, todos me están contestando ahí, va, pero cuando les digo, miren, tienen alguna duda en el tema, nadie me dice. Solo Belén me estaba preguntando con Rosibel ahorita. <ríe> ok. Huh. Ok. Bye. Acá tenemos la forma base. Yo les explicaba. Tenemos tres, tres grupos, ¿verdad? En la forma base, el pasado simple y el pasado participio. Ok. Aquí tenemos los primeros que son los tres en la misma. Igual. Cut, cut, cut. Hit, hit, hit. ¿va? Tenemos el segundo grupo que dijimos así de manera rápida, ¿va? Que cambia solamente en la primera de una forma y en el pasado simple con el pasado participio es igual. ¿Verdad? Que solo, solo en la forma base es diferente. Pero el verbo que vamos a utilizar ahorita son los de este sector. Los de ese sector. ¿Verdad? Y luego tenemos el tercer grupo donde cambia totalmente, ¿verdad? Eh, diferente en la forma base, diferente en el pasado simple y de faran, diferente en el... Past participle, ¿verdad? Ok, very nice, good. Estos son los que tenemos que aprendernos. Porque son los que vamos a utilizar con esto de los condicionales ahorita. ¿Verdad? Lo que me preguntaba Belén, ese es otro tiempo que se llama Present Perfect Progressive, al igual que está un Past Perfect Progressive. ¿Verdad? Entonces, estos, si no se los envía, bueno, se los vamos a tener que enviar. Pero esa es la manera de cómo se puede utilizar todo esto con lo que es, el, a lo que nosotros le llamamos, ¿verdad? Los Conditionals. Vamos a tener que aprenderlo, pero... Les voy a enviar entonces el, la lista de los verbos. Para mientras vamos a ver entonces lo que es el... Let me check here. Solo vamos a ver nada más lo que es el, el second conditional ahora. ¿Verdad? Ok, let me, voy a pasar acá. Ok, y aquí tenemos, ¿verdad? Vamos a ver este de which. Dice, in one simple way to imagine that things in the present were different, it's to use, this is the way in order to use a which. Okay, imagine if the present were different. Yo quisiera que el presente fuera diferente. Okay. Y yo utilizo acá, por ejemplo, el which. ¿Han, han escuchado ustedes cuando utilizan las oraciones con el which? Yes, which? I wish something. Okay. Para... Wish per, like prayer, right? Pero ustedes han utilizado, por ejemplo, I wish... Uh, a soda, yo deseo una soda I wish uh, 
a trip, desea un viaje, I wish something, pero desear así de manera directa, ¿verdad? Yeah, wish, like, and, I wish the and early today, for example. Ah, ok, ahora, acá ya utilizamos el wish como un deseo irreal, o sea, algo que no puede ser así, pero que yo quisiera que fueras. Right? Suena crazy, pero así es, ¿verdad? Y ok, tenemos el ejemplo. Pero lo que tengo que tener claro es que utilizo el which y el past simple. Ok. Miren esta oración. Vamos a ver si me ayuda a leer esta oración. Uh, ok, Rose, can you please help me to read it? Ok. I live near the beach, but I wish I live near the mountains. Ah, oh, ok, very nice. Vivo cerca de la playa, pero ojalá viviera cerca de las montañas o quisiera vivir cerca de la montaña. O sea que la realidad es esta, que vive, ¿verdad? Cerca de la playa. Pero el deseo de, es, de esa persona en ese momento, que soy yo, ¿verdad? Es que quisiera vivir cerca de las montañas. Pero no puedo, porque no vivo cerca de ahí. Entonces, yo utilizo I wish. Pero si ustedes se fijan, ¿verdad? Si ustedes se fijan acá, I wish, ¿verdad? Tiene el sujeto y tiene el which. Y luego empieza la otra oración con el pasado simple. ¿Se fijaron, verdad? Yes, teacher. Ok. Ok, entonces acá. Hola. Es un auxiliary. Yes, I wish. Es un auxiliary. Which con un sujeto. ¿verdad? You wish, I wish, they wish. Oh, she wishes. Uh, he wishes. Entonces, ahí lo utilizamos diferente. ¿Verdad? Ok, pero siempre es auxiliar y siempre va a llevar un sujeto. Y después de eso va a llevar otra vez la oración con el pasado simple. Veamos otro ejemplo. Teacher. Sí, uh, if, the, if the sentence is, but I wish live near the mountains, is it's it's incorrect. Um, yes. Is it correct or is that is it, using a. Si, a si, si lo utiliza sin, 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 el, sin el condicional, ¿verdad? Si usted solo dice, I wish live near the mountains. Uh -huh. Usted, usted no está diciendo desearía vivir, sino deseo vivir. No sé si me explica. Me explico. Ok, usted en, la, en, en una usted contempla un deseo, nada más yo deseo vivir aquí. Pero en la otra usted no es que solamente lo desea, sino que quisiera totalmente que así fuera. ¿verdad? O sea, que está pidiéndolo, pero en realidad no va a pasar y ni pasará porque... Usted tiene una diferente realidad. En cambio, cuando usted dice I wish live, es porque usted lo puede llegar a, a lograr, porque quizás tiene el dinero suficiente y lo puede comprar. ¿verdad? Pero en este momento, mm -hmm. cuando usted utiliza este un real, así para hablar de no, algo irreal, es porque usted no puede hacerlo. ¿verdad? Por, primero, porque ya tiene una casa en un lugar y no tiene las condiciones para poder comprar otra, porque pues para eso implicaría otro dinero extra, ¿verdad? Entonces, ese es diferente uso. Y el verbo ya no tendría que ir en pasado, sino que tendría que ir en presente. Si lo utilizara sin be. sujeto acá. Uh, okay. 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 ok. Very nice. Vamos a ver la siguiente. Vamos a ver si me ayuda a leer esta. Vamos a ver acá. Adela. My boyfriend is so busy that he has no time for me. I wish he didn't work so much. Ok. Ahí dice, ¿verdad? Mi, y ahí dice la palabra. Yo no puedo decir porque va a escuchar raro que diga eso, pero. Ok. Es, pasa bien ocupado, ¿verdad? Que no tiene tiempo para mí. Y dice. Me encantaría o desearía, ¿verdad? Que él no trabajara mucho. Desearía que no trabajara mucho. 
pero como no puede ser así, ¿verdad? Eh, porque él trabaja mucho. O sea, es como decir, ojalá que no trabajara mucho. O desearía que no, galán fuera que no trabajara mucho. Es como nosotros en español así lo, lo decimos, galán fuera que no trabajara tanto ¿va? para que me viera. ¿Ok? Esa forma es de utilizar el which. Cuando lo utilizamos así. Pero miren, siempre lleva I wish y luego lleva en este caso, porque estamos hablando del boyfriend, el he. Y como lo estamos haciendo negativa, llevamos el auxiliar, porque estamos pasados simple, el did con el not. I wish he didn't work. Yo desearía que no trabajara tanto. Yo ¿verdad? quisiera que no trabajara tanto. No sé si hasta aquí vamos, vamos clarito, vamos comprendiendo cómo se usa. Yes. yes. Ok, hasta aquí es pasado simple. Pasado simple el uso. Vamos a ver acá entonces ya esta otra parte. Aquí sí ya vamos con el second conditional directamente. ¿Verdad? Ok, vamos a ver si me ayuda a leerla. Belén. Ok. Second conditional. Now we'll take those switches on step further and imagine the result. Imagine what will happen if they were currently true. This is the second condition. Example. Okay, very nice. Now we'll take those switches one step further. Okay, vamos a, vamos a tomar esos deseos un, un paso más adelante, ¿verdad? And imagine the result. Imaginemos el resultado. Imagine what will happen if they were currently true. Veamos qué pasará, ¿verdad? Si en este caso fuera verdad. Ah, pero ah, algo que olvidé de decirles acá en el, en el, en el tema del, del which. Por ejemplo, ¿verdad? Si yo digo I wish uh, yo desearía que ella estuviera acá, por ejemplo. Digamos que yo quisiera hacer esa frase. Se logra ver ahí el texto, ¿verdad? Yes. Yes. Ok, normalmente tendría que ser I wish she was here. Tendría que ser así, ¿verdad? Porque estamos usando pasado simple. Right? Students, are you there? Teacher. Yes, teacher. Ah, ok, very nice. Yes. Pero con, con este, cuando utilizamos el Unreal Witch. Todos los sujetos van a llevar where. I wish she were here. Independientemente sea she, he, or it, va a llevar where. Si utilizo el I, también el where. ¿Verdad? No vamos a utilizarlo con el was. No, aquí no, no llevaremos was, sino que todos llevarían where. Va para todos los sujetos con where. But I, I don't understand, teacher. Ok, aquí dice, yo, yo desearía que ella estuviera acá. But the word is not with the plural. Es que como, por eso le, le digo que en este tiempo, okay. no, no estamos utilizando el pasado simple como pasado simple directamente. Sino que solo hemos ocupado su forma. Pero no su significado. Y como es algo irreal, por eso también el where va para todos los sujetos. No lo utilizamos con was. Entienda. Ajá. Claro. Si solamente utilizo el pasado simple sin el which, ahí sí voy a poner she was there, ¿verdad? Por ejemplo, she was here. Pero si lo estoy utilizando con el which, como un real, aquí tendría que ser where. No, okay. sé, si, no sé si me explico. Where is oh. using all the subjects? I, I, you, she, it, they, oh. we. Ok, muy bien, yes. Esto lo vamos, este where, en este caso, cuando utilizamos el which, lo vamos a utilizar con todos los sujetos. Desde el I, you, he, she, it, we, and they. Pero But solo... Only... Y use al wish. Con solo utilicemos. Oh, second condition. Sí, cuando utilicemos wish con el second condition. Hasta ahí. 
hasta ahí. Pero si solamente utilizamos, digamos que yo solo quiero decir que ella estuvo acá, entonces ahí sí voy a decir she was here. Ahí sí, lo voy a utilizar en forma normal porque estoy utilizando el pasado simple como pasado simple directamente. En cambio, acá no. Acá los, estoy tomando prestada su forma, pero estoy hablando con un unreal condition. Y real, iba a decir en español, unreal condition. Entonces, por eso digo, I wish she were here, ¿verdad? Ya no pongo el was. Ok. ¿Vamos bien ahí? Yes. Ok, the rest. Sí, clarito, ¿verdad? Yes, yes teacher, it's ok. Ok, very nice, kids. Nice. Ok, awesome. Let's listen, let's check the next part. Ok. Y aquí tenemos el second conditional, miren. Vamos a ver si me ayuda a leer esto. If I live near the mountains, I would go hiking every weekend. Hello, hello, ¿me escuchan? Yes, teacher. Yes. Creo, yes, que, teacher. No, creo que se me quedó frisada el, el, la computer, o no sé si el internet, no sé. Ok, uh, si alguien me ayuda a leer esto. Ok, if I live near the mountain, I will go hiking every weekend. Ok. Very nice. Y aquí vuelvo a lo que estábamos hablando al inicio. Esto ya es, este sí es el second conditional como tal. Miren, second conditional como tal, como tal, como tal, ¿verdad? Ya ven cómo mezclo el Spanglish yo, ya tanto, ¿verdad? Ok, acá yo tomo la forma base del pasado simple. Pero no significa si, no significa si yo viví cerca de la montaña. No, significa si yo viviera cerca de las montañas, ¿verdad? Y acá es donde utilizo el would con el verbo forma base. I would go hiking every day. Yo iría, ¿verdad? A escalar todo el fin de semana, ¿verdad? Good. Ok, entonces acá utilizo el pasado simple. Y acá el would que siempre tiene que ir. Con el verbo en forma base. Base form. ¿Verdad? Ok. Entonces, ¿qué es lo que tengo que tener en cuenta? Que siempre el if, como lo dije la vez pasada, va a ser la condition. ¿Verdad? Y siempre acá va a ir el pasado simple. Y el resultado va a ir con would y con el verbo y su forma base. No sé si me explico. No, teacher. This is not clear? No. <laughs> why not? Why is your confusion? ¿En, en qué es la confusión? Uh, teacher. Uh -huh. uh, the, the, the sentence right now is different than use wish. Yes, es que wish es una parte del second condition. Hace una forma de poder utilizarlo. Este ya ah. es el second conditional como tal directamente. The structure. This is the structure for the second conditional. Yes. The which is, is an exception for use in es the una, second conditional too. Yes, es an exception to use the second conditional too. Ah, okay. Nada más que allá puede ir sin tener una condition y un mm -hmm. result. Allá puede ir solamente con el which y usted ya está utilizando algo, right? En cambio, acá normalmente siempre es pasado simple y, y la otra parte. Okay. ¿Is it clear? Yes. 
Yes. For me. Yes, teacher. Okay. So those are two different usage. Esos dos son diferentes usos, ¿verdad? El primero es para hablar de algo que yo desearía que fuera diferente. Ahora acá ya es hablar de algo que si fuera así, yo haría esto. Son dos formas de uso diferente. Con el which, usted dice que usted, que usted ah, ojalá que si fuera esto, desearía que esto fuera así, ¿verdad? Como quisiera que esto fuera así. Ahora acá no es que usted quisiera con el second conditional, ya directo como tal. Sino es que si fuera así, ¿cuál sería el resultado? ¿O qué es lo que usted haría si fuera así? ¿Verdad? Por ejemplo, si le preguntan, que, what would you do if you earn one thousand dollars? ¿Qué haría si usted se gana mil dólares? Ah, y aquí, ya usted diría acá, if I earn one thousand dollars, I will travel to Colombia, for example. Ah, yo iría a Colombia, un ejemplo, un ejemplo. Ok, entonces esto, second conditional es para hablar de eso. Si esto pasara, esto haría. Esto haría si esto pasara. Esa es la forma de utilizar el second condition como tal, ¿verdad? Y el, el, lo que le estaba explicando el which es para utilizarlo de otra manera diferente, ¿verdad? ¿Más clarito? And if, for example, mm -hmm. we agree, um, for example, if I said, uh, like your example about the $1 million, if I cool, that will, wouldn't be a second conditional, right? If I if agree I... the cool. Cool. Uh-huh. Yeah, if I, if, if I could go to a place, I will go. Aunque, la, aunque el cool directamente acá no, fungi, no podemos utilizarlo con, con el result. Si no oh, quería, okay. sino quería en el if, porque el could es el pasado del verb del modal can. Uh -huh. Si usted dice yo puedo ir, I can go. Y si usted quiere decir yo pude ir, I could go. ¿Verdad? Usted, el, el cool es pasado del modal can. Entonces, usted puede utilizar acá en el result. If I can go to a place, por ejemplo, no sería can, sino if I could go to a place, I will go to Colombia. I will go to Spain. I will go to France. I will go to Miami, for example. Oh, okay. Okay, very nice. Let me listen to Aminda. Can you please read this one? The second sentences. Yes. Okay. If my boyfriend didn't work so much, we'll go out more often. Okay. Muy bien. Se recuerda en la, la, oración, la oración del novio que estaba antes, ¿verdad? Yeah. Que decía uh, que mi novio trabajaba mucho, decía la muchacha Iba. Y yo desearía que no trabajara mucho. Eso es lo que... Eh, sí, es verdad. Ahora viene el deseo que, que la, esa mujer tenía, ¿verdad? Ahora aquí viene formada con una oración y dice, si mi novio no trabajara mucho, va, miren, hasta aquí viene la oración que estaba ahí antes, pero aquí ya viene como una, una clause, ¿verdad? Con el if. Si mi novio no trabajara mucho, y aquí tenemos la contracción del would, porque para la contracción del would lo que hacemos es que ponemos el apóstrofe y la de. Y dice, ¿verdad? Nosotros saldríamos más seguido. Pero estas dos lo que significan es que no son reales, ¿verdad? ¿Por qué? Porque como no vivo en las montañas, por eso no puedo ir los fines de semana a, a escalar, ¿verdad? Y como en este caso la muchacha está diciendo que su novio, eh, que si su novio no trabajara mucho, eh, irían, saldría más seguido, aquí significa lo contrario. Que su novio trabaja mucho y por eso no sale muy seguido, ¿verdad? Aunque acá estamos utilizando el did, ¿verdad? El simple past, no vamos a traducirlo directamente como eso, como les estaba explicando. Very nice. Questions? No, teacher. No, right? It's a little bit confusing. Totally confusing, teacher. Yes, it is. 
Esos son los conditions son confusing. Ok. Y aquí tenemos, miren, el structure. Con el if clause siempre vamos a tener el past simple tense. Ok. Aquí podemos decir, if I had a lot of money, I would buy a big house. If I knew his number, I would phone him. Si yo tuviera mucho dinero, yo compraría una casa grande, ¿verdad? Eso es lo que está significando el condicional. Si, si la traducción, la traducción, ¿verdad? La traducción. Si yo tuviera mucho dinero, yo compraría una casa grande. Esa es la traducción. Pero veamos cuál es el mensaje que lleva implícito. Primero es que no tengo dinero y que por eso no puedo comprar la casa grande. Todas estas oraciones son oraciones que no son reales. Por eso se llaman unreal conditions. Right? Ok. Y acá tenemos la siguiente. If I knew his number, I would phone him. Si me supiera su número, le llamaría. Esa es la traducción. Pero el mensaje que lleva implícito significa que no sabe su número. Por eso no le llama, ¿verdad? Ok. Y acá tenemos lo que es el if clause con el pasado simple. ¿verdad? If clause, past simple uh, en este caso, ¿verdad? Y ahora tenemos acá el main clause que es el resultado, ¿verdad? Y acá es donde tenemos el condicional, ¿verdad? Que podemos utilizar acá, que es el would. Acá podemos utilizar el might. Y acá puedo utilizar el could, ¿verdad? Y el verbo en su forma base, que es infinito, ¿verdad? Por eso se dice infinitive, pero sin el to. Y acá, lo que me preguntaba Belén, si puedo utilizar el could en el resultado. Sí, lo puedo utilizar. Solo que en la oración que usted me pedía al inicio, ¿verdad? Tiene que ir en el if. Porque usted me estaba preguntando si pudiera viajar, ¿verdad? Es lo que usted me decía. Yes. Ok, por eso lo puse acá. Ahora, yo puedo utilizar would, buy, could, and in, eh, acá en el, en el resultado y siempre va a significar lo mismo. No me va a cambiar nada. ¿Verdad? Pero lo que yo tengo que aprender a utilizar acá directamente es que en el if clause llevo el simple. Y que acá el verbo lo llevo en su forma base, pero que tengo que llevar sea un would, un might o un could. Ok. Questions? Ok. Ok, very nice. Vamos a ver, Belén, can you please wait? ¿Lo podría leer, Belén, please? Son varias. Rosibel. Hola. Uh, hello. Yes. Okay. 